Hey, welcome to the Toadstead. Uh, I guess somebody saw this in the background of one of my videos and asked about it, so we'll go ahead and do a quick video on this. Um, this meaning that. Well, the issue is that here on the Toadstead, besides doing all the things we do, we also uh, repair, restore, and uh, do general work on lots of different kinds of trailers. Now this one's ours, but that's a client's right back there. Then there's our boat trailer back there, and then there's the 20-foot uh, dovetail flatbed back there. And, you know, we got to move around an awful lot. It's just a real pain in the rump to have to back a pickup truck up to it and, you know, down the tongue, get it all hooked up, make sure it's safe, and then move it where we got to do, repeat the process, blah, 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 blah. So what we did was picked up this... Uh, drawbar and lock and uh, I only have one hand here so just take a peek at it you can see we rotate around here that there's a two inch ball attached in the middle and then this little apparatus has slid down to right there but uh, let me put it on the trailer excuse me on the tractor here and uh, we'll bring you back okay so there it is installed and uh, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, one of the issues, of course, would be because of this, you know, it would just rock. But as you can see, that lock, which is just formed for the drawbar to fit in, then it comes around. There's a couple different places you can pin it. Now we just pin it in this one because we just use it around the yard. But as sloppy as that looks, in some ways it's, it's actually quite perfect because as we use the lifting arms on the tractor to just go up underneath a trailer, pick it up and take it away, there's a little movement allowed there for picking it up. It's not rigid and that works really well for us. And like I said, with this, all I have to do is back up to the trailer, pick it up and pull it away. The only, the only extra is, of course, if you have a block under the trailer pad, which some, you know, sometimes we do. But there's no cranking, no worrying about hooking it up, getting it tight and all that stuff, because it ain't going nowhere on this. And with this two inch ball, we can even pick up uh, slightly larger trailers like that one over there has the two and five, I think it's three sixteenths or five sixteenths. And we have no safety issues. The trailers are loaded. If for some reason we were to drag a empty trailer with very little tongue weight, you know, we just swap out the ball. And I have the, uh, the size ball for that and I might end up putting it on here and just leaving it. But right now it's easy to take on and take back off. And where it really shines is when we have to take the lawnmower out and mow all of this. It's so much easier just to pick one up, pull it forward, move a mow underneath it, and come back and put it back. Makes it a whole lot faster. But what we're gonna do right now is move this trailer down there next to the boat. And uh, don't think I'll actually be able to film doing it, but we'll stop and we'll do a couple things. I'll give you an idea. You can hear me over the tractor noise. As you can see, we backed up underneath it, and now we're just gonna reach over. I do this from sitting on the tractor, obviously, but I'm alone here. And we can just pick it right up, move it wherever we need to move it, and then set it back down. And because this has a little give in it as far as wobbling back and forth this way. It picks up very nicely, lays down very nicely. Eh, maybe you gotta give it a little step to get it to come out of the ball, but that's it. And usually
usually not even that. Like I said, from up in the tractor, I can usually just waggle it loose. So this little uh, drawbar is likely going to live on the tractor most of the time. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time around.